Stay tuned to find out how you can monitor your computer temperatures with one free, easy tool on Windows. Hello, my name is Oren from CompuMatter, and today I'm going to be showing you a very brief tutorial on Hardware Info 64, a free program you can use to monitor the temperatures on your CPU, GPU, as well as your hard drive, and it comes with all sorts of other features that you can utilize if you wanted to just mess around with it, but in this example I will just be demonstrating how you can keep an eye on your temperatures. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so on your browser here, I'm going to navigate to hwinfo64. And their website is www.hwinfo.com. So I'm just going to click on this one right here at the top. And then they have an installer here. Now typically they have ads in the center here. Just don't click on those, but click rather on the free download, hover over that. And then I go with the local US download. All right, and once it's completed, you'll see it either download up here at the top right, or depending on your browser, it might download to a different location. Go ahead and double click on the file that you just downloaded. It will prompt you for some administrative permissions, so go ahead and hit yes on that. And then OK to English, and next. The cool thing about the software too is if you tested temperatures on a bunch of different devices, you can also put it on a USB stick and have it be a portable testing software. In this example, I'm just going to have it installed on this computer. So go ahead and accept the agreement, install it wherever you prefer, I'm going to leave that default. And then if, it, if you want a shortcut, you can add that as well. And then hit the install button. So when you're done, you can choose to look at the manual or the forums, but the default is just to launch the program, which is all I need in this case. I'll ask me for admin permissions one more time. And then what I do to check the sensors or the temperatures is by checking this box here. If you just hit start, it will load a bunch of other information, but I am only really interested in checking on my temperatures right now. So once you're done with that, go ahead and hit start. Okay. So you can use these little arrows to minimize anything that you don't need to see. It gives you a lot of information, which is handy. I'm just looking for the temperatures. All right. So right here up here, it shows you the temperature that it's currently at the minimum temperature it has been during the time you've had this software open, and the highest it has gotten while you have this software open. It also gives you a little average, which is nice to see what that is. If you see this number here, the maximum or, or your current, go above a certain temperature and it turns red. And if it's something that it does consistently, you might have an issue that you need to resolve, whether it be more thermal paste, a better cooling system, making sure your heat sink has a solid connection to the CPU and properly is tightened, but not too much. Things like that, that I would recommend keeping an eye on if you're noticing some overheating issues, it's because heat is one of the number one killers in computers. The CPU is still up, that's a miracle. So you can keep an eye on the CPU temperatures here. You can leave this running while you're working with different things like stress test software or testing out a game or video editing or anything you have that might kind of challenge the CPU to work a little bit harder. And you can scroll down further to view other information that it may have sensors on. Let's see. It's got information on my drive temperatures and then my GPU. That's another good thing to keep an eye on and research, depending on your model, what the average temperatures are. That's another good way to tell how you're doing on that. Using this software, you can avoid hardware failure from overheating issues before it happens. Thank you for watching this brief guide on HW Info 64, a really nice temperature monitoring software that you can get for free and really easily. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or give us a call if you need some help setting up anything hardware-wise to get your computer cooler and running more efficiently. Have a great rest of your day and take care. Bye-bye.